Hello, I'm Rex Banks, and welcome to Ask the Audiologist. It's a web series that provides information and advice on hearing health and related assistive technologies. In this episode, we'll answer the question, what is tinnitus and how can it be treated? Tinnitus is the perception of sound that has no external source and can only be heard by the person experiencing it. But how do we hear a sound that isn't really there? The answer is found in our central nervous system. Our central nervous system is in a constant idle state, ready to respond to any possible encounters. This idling causes background brain noise. Most of us are unaware of this noise until something triggers it and causes it to become audible. Your ears are always working, but they relax when they find a soothing sound to listen to. They are geared to naturally want to listen to sound and are always scanning the environment for it. For people with hearing loss, the amount of sound they are exposed to is reduced. This causes their ears to strain to hear what's around them. All of this straining increases their sensitivity to brain noise, which manifests as tinnitus. It's important to understand that tinnitus is not a disease, but rather a symptom. Some of the leading causes are hearing loss, exposure to loud noises, ear trauma, stress, and certain medications. An estimated 37% of adult Canadians experience tinnitus each year, but the experience is unique in everyone. Noises like ringing, humming, buzzing, or even cricket-like chirping are all referred to as tinnitus. If you do have tinnitus, you should avoid silence as it only intensifies your sensitivity to it. For this reason, hearing aids are often recommended as frontline defense against tinnitus since hearing aids expose people with hearing loss to sound. For those who experience tinnitus but don't have hearing loss, custom ear sound generators may be recommended. Another option is tinnitus retraining therapy, which retrains the subconscious part of the brain to ignore tinnitus. This involves the use of sound therapy along with education and counseling, which helps to reduce stress and anxiety about tinnitus. If you think you're experiencing tinnitus, contact Canadian Hearing Services to book a tinnitus consultation to learn more about the treatment services we provide. That's all for this episode of Ask the Audiologist. If you have a question of your own that you would like answered in a future episode, email me at rbanks at chs.ca. Thanks for watching.